Critical limb ischemia is for me associated with rest pain and tissue loss, especially with tissue loss in the lower limbs, meaning that this patient is showing wounds at the forefoot or at the toes or wherever below the ankle. This is for me critical limb ischemia associated or not associated with rest pain. The first and most important thing is to look at the wounds, uh, to evaluate how these wounds have been treated, to take pictures of the wounds, to look how far and deep the wounds are going, to take a probe to bone, meaning just to look if uh, the wounds are going down to the bone. Then, after that, after we have associated the wounds, we have to do and evaluate the um, vascular situation, meaning that we have to take care of the um, uh, arterial pressure, ABI, which, uh, which we want to evaluate. Then we have to maybe do an up and double ultrasound just to evaluate if these patients have problems with their um, uh, arterial perfusion in the lower limbs. So this is the second point and the, the, the last point is that we have to take care of their global situation, taking care and evaluating their risk factors. Mainly these patients are diabetics, so we have to take care of their risk factor situation. First of all, there is a certain role for medical therapy in CLI patients, meaning that we might give them weight dilatatives and things like that, but only if we have excluded any role of revascularization. This is just at the end. Additionally, we have to do a very, very careful approach to risk factors, meaning that we have to evaluate the risk factors and that we have to treat the risk factors. This is the medical therapy. We have to control the diabetes, we have to control the hypertension, we have to control the hypercholesterolemia, we have to put them on statins and we have to put them on antiplatelet therapy or whatever kind of therapy they need to keep their vessels open. So we have medical therapy, but only additionally, and if nothing else is possible, then we can put them on vasodilatatives. Uh, this, is, this is just medical therapy. If they have infections, we have to put them on antibiotics um, on according to their, uh, uh, how to say, uh, bacterial regime they, they, they show us. I'm always satisfied when I have a flow in a CLI patient, a, satisfac a, sat a, sat a satisfactory flow to the foot, then I stop. If the flow to the foot is satisfactory, then I stop. Otherwise, I will not stop. So, um, we are looking at the angiogram, but we are not looking at the angiogram, um, how to say, on a static uh, way. We are looking to the flow. If we have really restored flow to the foot, then we can stop, otherwise we have to go on. I see the incidence of CLI in the next 10 years rising, not falling, because um, I still think that CLI is getting more and more important in patients over the world because the risk factors like diabetes, obesity and things like that are increasing, especially in the Asian countries. First. Second, uh, the problems uh, of CLI is still underestimated. So I still think that a lot of countries don't take care of CLI patients and therefore these patients are not adequately evaluated before they get amputations and therefore do all the reasons and because I also think that in third world countries this entity is increasing the patients might get more and more amputated before being evaluated and therefore I think the amputation rate is increasing.